All right, everybody, welcome to our next little review. And right now we're going to be looking at uh, Dead End and uh, Breakneck, a.k.a. Wild Rider. Now, it's like Wild Rider is basically just a retool, so I'm reviewing them together. Now, these two are pretty nice, and uh, what I like about these is that they actually look like uh, Ferraris. Like uh, the Ferrari uh, 458 Italia that was like featured in Dark the Moon, uh, Mirage Dino, if you will. I'm actually surprised they didn't release one of these in bright red and just call it uh, like a special edition Mirage or something. You know, just to spite uh, Mattel. Because it was like very strange that they would have a Ferrari in the Transformers movie when they can't really make a toy out of that one. Granted, third parties have stepped up to the plate and released um, Farange, which is like their third party Mirage. And that one's like pretty neat. So yeah, so here you have them, and again, they're, they're just awesome. The only weird thing about it is that, for whatever reason here, they didn't paint all the way, which I have no idea why, so it kind of breaks some of that paint. But overall, very nice shape, very cool colors for uh, Dead End, nice wheels. Same thing with um, Breakneck. Granted, again, kind of lack of paint there. Yeah, overall, very neat figures. And, uh, again, they got their uh, hand foot guns. They're both the same. And they just peg on top like this. Not really much you can do with them. Um, but uh, they also, like, had um, this as weapons. And, again, this is questionable at best. I mean, like, it looks pretty cool in the vehicle mode as, like, an extra racing pipe. Especially if you have two. And they work as clubs. But, uh... If you, you know, uh, if you try to hold it as a gun, this whole section just looks really weird and it's off-putting. Now, one of the things you can do if you want to, uh, you can turn this up like so. And I guess this works as a gun emplacement, if you will. And you can have like a Titan Master or something right back here. So, pretty neat, I guess. Although this works better for uh, the retools that were released later. So, there's that. Again, like I said, if you have two, you can take two of these and it doesn't look too bad like in vehicle mode. But once you get to robot mode, it just looks a little weird. Now, as I did with the drag strip, I picked up um, new gun weapons. And I basically got these right here, which are pretty neat. I got one for each. And again, they just peg to the side like so. Or you can just peg it in the middle. Just looks like an overall better gun. And uh, yeah. Transformation for these guys is pretty neat. Basically come here, you pop open the legs, and then you just slide these out, and then you close it again. Later, if you want to, you can open this and bring out that combiner port. And then you pop this down. Yeah, be a little tight depending on the model. Push that, pop that down too. You bring out the head, snap the chest into place, and... Slide that on the back. Then just bring out the arms. I don't know why, but they gave ratchet, little ratchet hinges. It's like there, which is weird. Not like it really needs them. Then you just rotate the waist, and there you go. There's a dead end for you. And robot mode looks pretty neat. Then, you know, we get a uh, break neck here. Same deal. Pop open the legs. Put those together. Oh, and super tight. Always a little scary with that point. Bring out the hand. Yep, there you go. And there. Now, same bot, but it's amazing what a little color swap can do. I like, I love it's like a breakneck slash uh, Wild Riders uh, red and dark gray. Just looks very cool. And uh, if you look closely at the head, they have the spikes on the side, which is like very reminiscent of the original um, cartoon version. Yeah, they didn't really do that on the toy because the toy also happened to be the combiner peg. So yeah, here's uh, the the weapon here, and again. If you hold it like this, it works great as a club. But 
if you take it out and try to use it as a gun, yeah, that, that whole thing there just doesn't... Yeah. Well, that's why I got these uh, cool Shapeways guns for them. This makes them look like a much better weapon. And then you can just take the hand foot guns and place them on the shoulders. And there you go. There's a dead end in Wild Rider or Breakneck. Depending on the copyright names, if you will. And these two are like mold wise, they're like among my favorites. They're definitely like a cool mode and uh, like a cool mold overall. And it's uh, one of the more fun out of all of them. They're just very, very neat. Of course, uh, we're going to look at the other two ones uh, very shortly. And uh, I have different things to say about those. But uh, yeah. Get ready for um, breakdown next. See you soon.